Hey everybody, it's me, Jessie. So welcome back to my channel. I have not done a video in a long time and I'm sorry about that, um, but I only have 31 subscribers, so it's not like you guys are like waiting for me to make another video. <laughs> anyway, um, look what I have. I have some more Yellowtail Snapper. They're just little babies again, just like I had in my last Snapper video. So I, um, I got these at Whole Foods. They have, um, a new Whole Foods right up the street for me and it is just like my heaven store. I love it. So I ended up getting these little whole fish and I'm going to fillet them for my dinner and then I'm going to turn them. I bought like some shiitake mushrooms, some roasted red peppers, which I'm going to turn into a puree, some fresh parsley, some lemon. I'm going to do like a little white wine, lemon butter sauce, I think just a nice and light sauce um, with some fresh parsley and then do some like roasted red pepper puree with some uh, maybe, I don't know what I'm gonna do with the shiitake mushrooms, but we're gonna have fresh snapper tonight. I'm so excited. So let's get started. Let's fillet this baby. I might move the other one just out of the way for a minute. So I'm gonna start with the head um, here, right behind the, behind the head. I actually just bought this paring knife. My, my fillet knife, my fillet knife is super dull, um, as you can tell from the last video, So, and I haven't had a chance to sharpen it yet. So I'm going to, I just bought this little paring knife, which should work fine because the snapper is pretty small. So um, anyway, let's go. Let's fillet this up. It's, it's, has been, it hasn't been scaled or anything. So I'm just gonna cut right behind here. You can't really see from this angle. I'm just gonna do it. And then you guys can, I'll show you after. But yeah, so I'm, I just cut behind the head and then I'm gonna cut, oh, it's nice and sharp. I'm gonna cut right along the, the back, or the, what is this called? Tail, the bone, the spine, I guess. Like that, I get a lot of scales are coming off just because, and then I'm gonna run my knife this way, right against the bone, against the bone so you just, so you get all the meat and then you're gonna come up over the rib bone and just go keep going forward. And you're gonna get a nice little fillet like this, just like that, see? So I'm gonna put that here, I guess, for now. I'm gonna do the other side. A lot of scales. My house is gonna to have tons of scales after I finish. I'm gonna to have to like mop my floor. <laughs> That's okay. I'm just gonna come up the spine here, and then I'm gonna go backwards, because it's opposite, so. I'm gonna do this. Ooh, I love having a sharp knife. It makes all the difference in the world, seriously. Come right along here. Perfect. So there's one. Pretty clean. Look, you can even see right through it. Aha. So there's one. I'm gonna throw that away. I'm gonna do the other one that down that looks kind of gross <laughs> okay I'm gonna do the other one then I'll skin them and I'm probably gonna freeze this other fish because I've, I've I'll actually probably eat both of those fillets tonight because they're gonna be really small they're only gonna be like four ounces a piece four to five ounces they're small you know so anyway ooh, nice and smooth god I love fresh snapper I'm so lucky and blessed to live in Southwest Florida where you can get like fresh Gulf snapper. And I mean, I used to work at this really amazing seafood restaurant and we didn't, we got whole fish in, but we never got like, people would come into the fish market and ask for whole fish. And we didn't have a lot to sell. Like the whole fish that we would get in, we would, we would fillet up for the restaurant. So it, it literally wasn't, you know, we would sell it, but you know, we, we needed it for the restaurant because we had so much volume going through there. And yeah, oh, this is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, it's fresh. There's nothing better than like a piece of fresh fish. Seriously. All right, so this is, let me see. So now you have, I've got like four fillets. They're about, let's see if you can see them here. Um, yeah, once I skin them, they're going to be even smaller. 
And after I skin them, I'm probably gonna rinse them off really just quickly just to get any leftover scales or anything like that that's kind of stayed on because there's a few scales on here. I mean, I don't like to rinse my fish, but whatever. So I guess I can use this. It's nice and sharp, but it's not really a skinning knife, but I'm just gonna wiggle the skin and the knife at the same time and kind of just go down real, you don't have to go fast because you don't want to like lose the meat or the flesh. This is not a good skinning knife, but it's sharper than most of the knives I have. Maybe I can use my big knife, I don't know. Anyway, that's pretty much, that's it. <laughs> yeah, I'll put that there. Oh my God, I'm gonna have scales everywhere. Oh well. <laughs> I actually, maybe I'm gonna try a different knife because that one's like, that one's really hard to do. I guess I can do it with this one. <laughs> mm. Got a little bit. I'm almost done here and then I can pin bone it and just like we did on the last one if you guys watched my yellowtail snapper video <laughs> I don't know I really need to invest in a knife sharpener seriously I can't do the steel that I have I'm not really good with the steel so boy I kind of miss flaying fish a lot I really do. I like flaying fish. It's fun. It's a good skill to know how to do. Okay. So now that I've, I'm going to flip this over just so I don't have all the scales all over the place. And we're just going to pin bone, get the, get the bone out of the center of the filet. There's just a little tiny bone that runs down in like the middle, just maybe like a, a couple inches up, it goes to about there. So we're gonna take, we're gonna take um, that little bone out. You just, with your finger, you just feel where it stops and then you just run your knife kind of along each side of it and then that's it. Sometimes you get a little bit and then you can like clean this up a little bit and then you have like a perfect filet right here. And you can eat all that, it's all flesh. So let me put it, um, I guess I'll put it on this, on this thing here. It's not mine, it's my friend's. Okay, so again too, I'm just like taking off any little bits that I don't want, running the pin, get the pin bone out of each one. And then I'm gonna just freeze these. I'll probably rinse them off and get the, you know, all the rest of the scales off. But yeah, this is, yellowtail snapper is like a really delicious, fresh, mild fish. It's not, it's a white fish. It's, it cooks up to be white. It's not like a, you know, a dark fish or anything. And it's very, very good. It's very delicate. It cooks very quickly because it's thin. So you can do it in a number of ways. And I am just going to like pan saute it tonight. That's what I'm gonna do with it. So, basically, that's it. I have four, four beautiful um, yellowtail snapper fillets. And this is just gonna go in the, should probably just throw it away. <laughs> but I'll probably, I'll throw it in the wash, I guess. So yeah, this is my beautiful um, yellowtail snapper fillets. And I'm, I have some gorgeous uh, shiitake mushrooms. Like I said, I'll probably like just clean those up and then maybe like quick saute them or throw them in with the, um, I'll cook the fish and then throw them in like last minute and they'll just kind of be a little bit cooked and in, um, in the sauce. And then I might do like a little roasted red pepper puree. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Maybe I'll just do the, the fish and the mushrooms. I, I love mushrooms. So anyway, that's my video. Um, 
I am so excited to eat it and I can't wait. Um, I, I wish that I could edit my things and um, my videos and I could like add to them and show you what the finished product looks like because it's only five o'clock at night or in the afternoon. So I'm probably not gonna cook this for like at least another hour to two hours. So um, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, I miss you guys and um, I will hope to do another video soon. Um, maybe like a cooking video or something. Maybe we can do a cooking video tonight when we cook this. Who knows? Um, anyway, take care. Thanks for watching and um, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and we'll, uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.